It was hailed as a historic deal. After painstaking negotiations, there was an agreement over Iran's nuclear program, presenting an opportunity for Tehran to finally come out of the cold after years of isolation. Britain, part of those long talks last year, has since eased economic sanctions on Iran. And now British Airways, the UK's flagship airline, is reopening the route from London to Tehran for the first time in four years. It's a symbol that uh, things are going back to normal with Iran and that perhaps uh, this marks the beginning of the end of Iran's international isolation and that uh, there, there may be hope that Iran can be reintegrated into the international community and this is a very one obvious sign that this thing is happening. BA suspended its flights to Tehran in 2012, citing commercial reasons. At that time, relations between Tehran and London were at their lowest ebb for decades. In 2011, a mob had stormed the British embassy in Tehran. In turn, Iran's diplomats and staff were forced to leave their embassy in London. Diplomatic channels, though, were kept open as the negotiations over Iran's nuclear program continued. And in August last year, Britain's embassy in Iran reopened. For years, Iran's isolation meant its business dealings with Britain were minimal. The deal, though, last year changed all of that, with the UK government now in support of trade expansion with Tehran. There are still deep concerns, though, about Iran's human rights record. As British Airways was preparing to fly to Tehran outside the Iranian embassy in London, the family of a British Iranian man held in Iran were demonstrating against his imprisonment, along with the husband of a British charity worker who was arrested in April. It's a risk for BA and it's a risk for anyone that gets on that flight. And, and of course it doesn't mean that everyone that catches that flight will, will be taken in. But if it can happen to Nazanin, goodness, it could happen to anyone. Um, and there's a queue of people who've had their passports confiscated, having gone over to visit their families. BA will run flights six times a week to Tehran. Air France resumed its flights to the Iranian capital in April after an eight-year break. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera.